Nostalgia.com. Hope you're all very, very well. And we've got a little film review for you today. A little Disney effort uh, that's screened on their Disney Plus. Um, and it's called Magic Camp. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button and push the bell notification. All these little uh, movie reviews are also do TV drama reviews and information vlogs on DVD releases and cinema releases, etc. Uh, that'd be fantastic and if you can give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this please it's always nice to get views but it's nice to get a thumbs up as well if you can do that for me it just takes a split second much appreciated yeah magic camp uh, as you expect from disney it's a, a family comedy film um elements of the comedy not not great but uh, it is an it is an okay family film but anyway let's talk about it an hour and 40 minutes directed by mark waters based on an original story written, I think there were six writers, but I've only got four down here, so obviously a few people had a go at this one, based on an original story written by Gabe Sash, Jeff Judah, Matt Spicer and Max Winkler. Uh, it stars Adam Devine, Jeffrey Tambor and Gillian Jacob. Jacobs. The film was released on Disney Plus on August the 14th, 2020. What's it about? Well, Andy, he's, uh, he was once an aspiring magician, but now he's an Uber driver, as, as, as all magicians, that's what happens to all magicians, isn't it? Uh, at the urging of his former mentor and Magic Camp owner Roy Preston, played by Geoffrey Tambor, uh, he returns as a counsellor to the camp of his youth, hoping to reignite his career. So an interesting story. I, I must admit, I thought, that, you know, I thought this was... Uh, I've recently watched Upside Down Magic and uh, I thought it was going to be something like that, but I couldn't have been further away really with this one. Is it any good? Well, it's not doing fantastic on the reviews as far as Rotten Tomatoes are concerned, but there's not many people watched it. There's only four critics that have left a review. Uh, and that's, it's done all right on the critics. It's the audience that's struggling a little bit. The critics, uh, the four critics, three fresh and one rotten, but the audience scores only 50% positivity rated for it. That's uh, based on 21 reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Internet Movie Database, uh, there's no Metacritic rating, so again, the critics haven't caught hold of this one yet. But uh, Internet Movie Database, the user rating, that's uh, Joe Public, the user, you and me, uh, based on 523 reviews is 6.2 out of 10. So that's that's a watchable score. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But some of the comments, um, I picked out some some low ones and a couple of high ones. Uh, we've got Doomed Mac on the 16th of August 2020. He wrote, this is an utterly meh movie. Most of the jokes are not funny. And some of the characters are lifeless. Still, I've seen worse movies. So we give it 5 out of 10. Um, and someone questioning the 5 out of 10 here, he gave it 9 out of 10. And said, uh, you know, 9? No, you must be kidding. No, I liked it. Nine. That psychedelic voice, 16th of August, 2020. I don't really like too cheesy, obvious movies. Neither the here is a lesson, learn it and get everything. But this movie was and is entertaining. Nice acting, nice theme, nice family vibe overall. I quite liked it. Overall, it's a fun watch, but it's not perfect. Well, no, you only give it nine out of ten. You would give it a ten, wouldn't you? And the last comment. From Court Nickel on the 15th of August 2020, he gave it 8 out of 10 and said it was a great family film. And went on to say, we watched this movie with our kids. That's what you do, isn't it? I mean, I must admit, I've watched, I've watched Disney movies on my own, obviously. But uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's the idea, isn't it? We watched this movie with our kids, who are 3 and 7. We all really enjoyed the movie and laughed a lot. My 7-year-old was absolutely fascinated with the magic tricks. When he really liked something, he clapped like we were at a live show. It was nice to watch a non-animated, family-friendly, not too childish movie together. There are adult elements of understanding, but it's not too heavy that the kids lose interest. I recommend this movie to anyone who wants something light, silly and just entertaining. So I say, the overall score of 6.2 out of 10. There was a lot of positivity. Uh, so my little thoughts, movie game nostalgia thoughts on this film. Uh, yeah, another. I mean, I'm changing my opinion on Disney. I do, I do sort of uh, find some of the kids in their films usually precocious and a bit hard to get into. But uh, this is another Disney film with mainly likable actors, young actors and old actors. Um, as I said, I'd watched uh, Upside Down Magic, which obviously had received a bit more publicity than this one has, uh, and I was expecting something a little bit similar. But yeah, it's, it's quite quite different. 
uh, Gillian Jacobs and Adam Devine, obviously uh, there's a great chemistry between the two, obviously they play old, old lovers sort of things who obviously split up and old magic partners who fell out and split up, but uh, there is a definite chemistry there, you can sense it. Uh, and Mr Jeffrey Tambor is entertaining, obviously we'll talk about him in a moment. Uh, the younger actors are very, very good and... Uh, most are really likeable. It's not, it's not exactly a laugh out loud film though. I mean, it's not something I really sm I laughed at, but I, I just thought it was a nice, nice watch, a nice family watch. I even found myself trying to do some of the magic, so uh, I'm sure children will like it. Hopefully, encourage some to try magic. I think as one of the uh, reviewers said early, early doors. Um, it's, is it too simple uh, in these days of superheroes and things like Sabrina and the, obviously the previous mentioned film, Upside Down Magic? Uh, possibly. You can, you can possibly see, the movies, see why the movie's been in limbo for three years. It was actually made in 2017 and sort of was due to come out in 2018. Uh, obviously the links to Mr Tambor, who's obviously had some sexual misconduct claims, hasn't he, since I think... The links with him may have affected its release, obviously, in 2018, because that's when it was all happening with uh, Mr. Tambor. But, uh, yeah, it's been sat there on the shelf a little while. Supposedly, it was a vehicle also for Steve Martin to appear, um, was obviously, in it as well. But but it is a movie that just, uh, it's perhaps is a little bit out of its time. It, I mean, it's a plot taken from a simpler time, uh, but it did make me smile. Uh, occasionally cringe, yeah, I admit it, but add this to add this to the kids who might enjoy the magic elements of it, and then then it's great. Um, I'm sure Disney will add more quality stuff to the channel, much more worse. But you'd be hard pressed to find a more wholesome film, even if it appears to be a step back to an earlier, cuter time, perhaps in the family movie production. Yeah, the actors, the young actors, actually learnt most of the tricks themselves as well. So that the magic you see, obviously, there's special, some special effects, some CGI on the big stage events of things disappearing and reappearing. But obviously, some of the sort of uh, card tricks, etc., the young actors did learn how to do them for for the production. So that's that's good to know that they they actually went to that to that effort to do that. Uh, a lot of critics have been harsh, but as a straight to streaming movie, just about pulls the proverbial rabbit out of its hat just about anyway so yeah i'm going to give it a just about watchable score as well so i'm going to give it the basic six out of ten which is in line with the internet movie database but i thought it was, it's a nice story i was quite happy watching that and again i just look at these films and think would i would i sit and watch them with my uh, granddaughters and i would so that that sort of does it for me that's enough for me to say it's a six out of ten and well worth a watch uh the poster Awful, isn't it? <laughs> Unless you like any of the characters, it's, it's a pretty miserable poll. So I don't, I wouldn't have that in, up in the background. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't really like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the poster four out of ten. I think it's pretty awful. The poster, a lot going on, but pretty awful. Uh, yeah. So the movie six out of ten. The poster four out of ten. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Please check, check out my little links uh, on the screen. And if you can check out my little website as well, moviegamenostars.com for old rare DVDs, movie posters from the 90s and 2000s, some board games as well. That will be absolutely fantastic if you can do that for me. Anyway, hopefully we'll see each other again very, very soon for another movie review or a TV drama review or just an information vlog. And please, as I said, if you've not pushed that old subscribe button, to please do so now. What are we going to do this day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your family. More importantly, let's all look after each other. And hopefully I'll see you all again very, very soon. Very, very soon. Please stay safe, everyone. It's Bird is saying goodbye for now. Bye-bye.